Hey guys, it's Michelle and I'm back with Tiffany Southern Gales Designs for another Yumi Same 3. In this month our three items came from Clever Crafter and I'll have her Instagram name linked below so you can check out her awesome art too. Her three items were these alphabet stickers and some washi tape and that little, I don't know, it's kind of like a fluorescent greeny yellow piece of ribbon. So I knew I had an idea what I wanted to do with the stickers. Um, I wanted to peel the backing away and use it kind of as a stencil. And the way to do that is just to put a powder over top of the stencil once you peel it away. And if you don't have powder, you could use cornstarch or, you know, just a powder. If you don't like the small powder, I like the small baby powder. So that's what I used. So I just put them upside down, sticky side up, and then use way too much powder and then um, I used a fan brush just to make sure it got over every surface and it didn't stick to my page and that worked out fine. So I have no idea what I'm doing. I just knew that I kind of wanted to use the stencils like or use the letters as stencils but I thought I might still use the stickers also. and. Honestly, this page kind of came together easily for me, even though it probably doesn't look like it because I try a lot of different things. But for me, this was fast and easy, so maybe not for you. Um, this is just one of the Square Dilutions journals, and if you've not used one, I don't know why, it's a really good size. I really like the size. And this is just some of my homemade modeling paste, and I'll put a little eye card up above in case you haven't seen this yet, but... Um, it's just cheaper, easy to make, and I always have some on hand. So I'm just kind of putting them, they don't really necessarily look exactly like letters, like the M does, but that's okay. I just kind of wanted it for some texture on the page. And so I used both, both sets, <laughs> both sets of stencils, and put them here and there, just kind of haphazardly. And then I have some, these are just like, um, well, I'm going to dry it really quick first, but then I take some, they're just like painted papers or drop papers, jelly prints that kind of matched the washi tape. And that was just, I think I laid something down and painted over it. So it, but it was the perfect color. So I'm going to, I liked that long piece. And that's just an oven liner or a piece of an oven liner. And then I have all these little glue sticks, so I'm using those up. So I'm going to set this to music. And if you have any questions, you can leave them below. I will pop back in at the end. Um, but all my supplies will be listed. Um, and I'll list them through the Amazon affiliate link. Remember, if you use that, I will get a small compensation for it. So anyhow, enjoy the music. Or you can mute it or listen to your own music. 2 a.m. in the car playing our favorite song Turn it up, windows down, we sing along The summer night has just begun The moon is bright, let's have some fun Oh, 
this is everything With you right next to me So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go This is everything With you right next to me So alive and tonight I'm thinking that I don't wanna go to being done um I put the little the little ticket piece together with some material and I decided I didn't I didn't like the the letters stickers on there so I pulled those up and um, I'm gonna call it not cheating because I still used one of the three items so <laughs> that's what I'm calling it anyhow I'm using some heavy matte gel medium and I'm just gonna attach that and um, the last thing that I have to use is the ribbon and you know, I was going to do my old standby and just kind of pull it through a punch. And then I'm like, no, I need to try something different. But I did pull that little tag over for just a quick second because that was my, that's always my go-to for fibers like that. But um, I kind of had it pulled along the side there and I like, I like how the color popped. So that's what I did. I just 
I wanted it thinner, just a little thin because it's, it's so vibrant. I thought it would look better in a skinnier piece. So I just kind of lay that along there. And then somehow, for some reason, it was kind of cut at the bottom there. And so I used my scissors, or well, I didn't use my scissors, I should have. I just kind of ripped it and then it kind of scrunched all up. So I had to straighten it out a little bit, but no big deal. So then I thought it should have just a tiny piece over on the other end too. And that's why I cut this and um, yeah, I did a lot of putting things places and then removing it. But again, the still, it didn't take me very long at all for me. Now, for most people, it was probably forever, but some of these videos take forever and I have to edit them way, way down. So this one went pretty smooth. Um, so I'm going to put this little bit underneath there and I don't like it. So it's going to go. But first I'm going to cut it and futz with it a whole bunch more because, you know, that's, that's just what I do. So I'm going to cut it off and then I'm going to pull it out and say nope. And so finally, I, I think I like it like that. It just needed one more little thing here. I'm showing you that I used all three. <laughs> I don't know why, but I did. So then I felt like I just wanted to add a couple of little kind of pops of the fluorescent, pops, that sounds so gross, of the fluorescent yellow kind of color. And that's pretty much going to be my page. Um, so make sure you head over and see what Tiff made with those three items. If you haven't been there already, I'm sure she made something awesome. And if you're not subscribed, would love it if you did. And let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much. Bye.